So when you th do you think when God commanded the Jewish people to leave their homes and go out in the sukkah for seven, eight days and to dwell there, that he was thinking about the weather in Miami in October? <laughs> That's a phenomenal <laughs> question. Yes, I, I was thinking exactly the same when we, get, we are getting prepared for this video. Uh, you know, two things come to my mind when Sukkot, Sukkot approaches. Number one is one of the sources in the Talmud that says, Mitzvah Sukkah Keneget Kulam. It's like when you build a Sukkah, it it's, will be considered like you are accomplishing or keeping all the mitzvot together, no? And there's another source who says, Mitzvah Ktana Yeshli, I have one little mitzvah, Ushma Sukkah, I have a little mitzvah, and the name is Sukkah. So one says that it's Keilu, the entire Torah, and I say, you know, it's a little mitzvah called Sukkah. Mm -hmm. What comes to your mind when, I, when you read them? Well, I think it's from different perspectives. Like we look here, and we look at this big emptiness here, and the emptiness here, and it's got to all be filled in. I think for the person who's got to do that, it's a very big mitzvah. It's a lot of work. And for our wives or whoever it is who does the cooking in the house, with all the people coming to the house for the sukkah, it's a very, very big thing. So if you take it seriously and you get involved in it, it's a very, very big mitzvah. If it's something that you don't put yourself into and you just kind of get there and the food's there and the sukkah's made and you weren't involved, Maybe it just appears to be a little bit of a mitzvah. So that's how much we're willing to put ourselves into this festival. Yes, and this invites me to the reflection that says that uh, philosophically, if you understand what the sukkah is, that it brings a lot of hardship. No, you, if you take it seriously, for example, we know that the kosher uh, sukkah can have only three walls, and the rabbis will explain why. Because it's like a metaphor of life. There is no life who has four strong walls. Right. All of us are missing something. Mm -hmm. So when I think about the idea that I should confront the idea that I will never have everything, not only I want, but I need, and I may be lose in this game of life, this is when sukkah becomes so relevant then and today. And, and what many people in our country have been through last year with Hurricane Sandy, and now, right now, in Colorado with the floods, we're reminded it doesn't matter how strong we build our houses, it doesn't matter how strong we build our buildings, it's a very fragile world, that's what the sukkah reminds us. It's really very fragile, and we have to be vigilant to protect ourselves, and we also understand that things will happen, and then what we can do to fix it is to really rally around those people and give them the support and the love they need to rebuild their lives. The sukkah represents the fragility of our lives. That's the reality. Yes, and I think that after September 11, 2001, we all realized that we all live in Sukkot and that even the buildings may pretend that they are strong and whatever, life is fragile, that the sukkah reminds us every year. And then to build a, a joyous moment, you can see it's empty now. But there's going to be a lot of activity tomorrow, and they're going to put the roof up, and they're going to cover it with these natural, this grows from the ground, has to be natural, and then they're going to finish up the walls, and then we're going to fill it with lights, we can celebrate here at night, and then they put out the tables, and when people get here, Wednesday night, and throughout the week, they're going to see a beautiful, completed sukkah to eat, to celebrate, and to sing and rejoice in. But the only way it's going to happen is going to be a lot of effort before. And that's what it takes. You know, in order to really celebrate life, we have to put a lot of effort into it. So what the rabbi is telling us is that all depends on us. If it's a little mitzvah, or it's really a big one, because we took it seriously with our hearts, our hands, and our souls. Taksameh. Taksameh is a happy and healthy circus festival to all.